Welcome back to the third video of the uh, Team Transport series. So yep, I've filmed two more of these, unboxing them and taking a look. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. But yeah, here we are with the third one. We have the Nissan Skyline Super Silhouette, which is very cool. So yeah, these are very, very cool. Was lucky enough to go and find these in a local toy shop, which is awesome. Do love it when we get some brand new stuff because yes these are a first for me here in the UK finding these uh, team transport as you would know if you've seen the last videos as I've mentioned this a couple of times so you'd also know I'm about to open it with a knife yes because I want to keep the cards as kind of a safe storage for the car and the truck Yeah, I definitely think these are worth opening up and checking out as it's something I've never seen before. These are way too cool to keep in their plastic prisons. I'm trying to find these couple bits of plastic I've missed. I think I just cut the desk. Oops. Knife safety is key. And I'm ignoring all of it. Right. Aha, we're in. We're in. We can open it up. Try and get the plastic insert out. There we go. And I think we've just got the one piece of plastic on this one too. Excellent. Right, there we go. It is out. Right, so like normal, let's take a closer look at the truck itself. I do like the fact it's got the cool looking alloy wheels on this one. That's really nice. So this is the Fleet Street. Nice die cast base and die cast body, motor livery, front light details, got some spare wheels on the top there of multiple variety which is pretty cool. Does this um, move? Yep, so it slides back and tilts down to let the car on, that's really really cool. Or just comes off completely, I don't think I was meant to push it down like that. So yeah, now we have the awesome uh, <laughs> flat loader got motor on the rear number plate uh, rear mud flap sorry and some light details bit easier to see now I've massacred it and pulled this off Should we just oh yeah it just clicks back in so I think it's just meant to slide back like that doing that breaks it off mm, bit disappointing because um you, you, I mean you can't really load the car I mean you're just gonna make it a drop top and your windscreen is gone. But yeah, pretty cool. Avant logo there, little side markers, LBWK there. Very cool indeed. And it does lock into place, which is nice. So I'll give it that. It's got redeeming features because it stays in place. I don't know why my desk suddenly creaks so much, and I think it's audible in the mic as well, which is a shame. It sounds like a car now. Anyway, that's enough messing around. Here we have the silhouette Nissan Skyline. This is an awesome beast. It looks really, really nice with the red and black liveries. Advan and Motul written on the side, number 11. Nice spoked alloys on this one. Very, very cool. Massive front splitter. Nice front light details and all that jazz. Looking really, really awesome. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. There is the base, slick tyres, little exhaust sticking out the side there, which is nice, nice little touch. And the back there, massive, massive rear wang, massive rear splitter. Oh boy, and all the rear light details as well. Yep, yeah, this is really, really nice with all the light details and the tampos as well. As you'd expect from a premium car culture casting like this, just looks really, really awesome. And of course, it can be loaded up on the lorry. Unfortunately, oh no, it does just, it does go on the, um, in the wheel wells there. It sits underneath the spare tyres a bit there, which is awesome. And of course, you can load it back like that. The weight of the car almost snaps it off as well. <laughs> Little bit of a design flaw, I suppose, there. But it, it works. It works well enough. And that's good enough for me. So there we have it, the third episode. So that is all of the Team Transport for 2022, at least in that set. 
So yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to say this is probably the fan favourite, this one here. They have released a Silhouette R34 already as far as I'm aware in other premium sets. So yeah, let me know down below. So yeah, be sure to let me know down below which one of these was your favourite. Uh, personally, oh, it's a tough choice. Actually, I, I think they all have their redeeming features. Like The Silhouette R34 is just really, really cool. That was really weighty and nice, and I like the full boxed um, trailer for it. But that had the whole lift up feature, and it had the little stand to hold it up. So that was just absolutely epic. So, mm, really hard choice for me. I think that just about wins, I think, for the cool feature of it um, standing up and the lorry being pretty neat too. But yeah, these obviously have more moving features in the lorries to sort of counteract that, so, mm, no, I think that just about wins in uh, my vote. But yeah, be sure to let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest if you haven't seen them. But yeah, with that, as usual, I wish you the best of luck in your peg hunts, and I hope to see you again in the next video.